God's natural beauty. Wow. The lord of the Edomites, or Edomites, descendants of Esau. Shalom, guys. How are you? This is Veronica. And in today's video, I'm heading to the lord of the Edomites. That is, uh, the Edomites were the generations of Esau. That is, uh, we find it in the, in the book of Genesis chapter 36. But it all began in Genesis 20, 25. When Rebecca, Rebecca had the pregnancy of the twins. Esau and Jacob and they were still fighting even in the in the womb <laughs> and Edom the lad of the Edomites uh, was destroyed there are so many phases of the Bible that talk about uh, Edom or Adom in Hebrew it's called Adom red so that is where we are going and uh, guys enjoy the trip it's very early in the morning we started the trip from tel aviv at two o'clock so that at least uh, it's almost five hours drive or four hours and a half now we have already traveled for three hours it's now 5 to it's now 5 20 and we expect that within the next 30 minutes we'll be at uh, red canyon and uh, guys we are going to enjoy hiking today <laughs> so guys thank you so much i will see you there at the red canyon genesis chapter 25 it starts with the death of abraham we are going to read from the from the first Fast, fast, as we travel. Abraham had taken another wife, whose name was Keturah. She bore him Zimran, Jokshan, or Yokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan, or Yokshan, was the father of Sheba and Dedan. The descendants of Dedan were the Ashurites, the Retushites, and, and the Leumites. The sons of Midian were Epha, that is E-P-H-A-H, -H, and Ephar, that is E-P-H-E-R, Hanok, Abida, and Elda, or Eldar, Elda. All these were the descendants. All these were the descendants of Keturah. Abraham left everything he owned to Isaac. But while he was still alive, but while he was still living, he gave gifts to the sons of his concubines and sent them away from his son Isaac to the land of the east. Abraham lived 175 years. Then Abraham breathed his last and died at a good age, at a good old age. An old man and full of years and was gathered of his people. His sons, Isaac and Ishmael, buried him in the cave of Machapela. And please guys, I did a video about the cave of Machapela. That is where Abraham, Salah, and his sons and their wives are buried in Hebron or Hebron or Hebron. Only 
uh, lecho, recho, was not valid there. Because as you remember the story of recho, she died on the way when she was giving birth. So she was buried on the way. She wasn't buried at the family grave uh, or the family cemetery. Okay, let's continue. Uh, he was buried him in the cave of Macapella near Mamre. And one of these days, I'm going to take you to Mamre, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to take you to Mamre. I'm going to edit a video about Mamre. That is, you remember at Mamre, that is where uh, three men visited Abraham and foretold about the birth or conception of Isaac. One of these days, I'm going to do this. In the field of Ivron, son of Zohar, the Hittites, the field Abraham had bought from the Hittites. There Abraham was buried with his wife, Sarah. After Abraham's death, God blessed his son Isaac, or Isaac, who then lived near Biar Lachai Roy, Ishmael's son. This is the account of the family line of Abraham's son, Ishmael, whom Salah's slave, Hagar, the Egyptian, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael listed in the order of his birth. Nebaoth, or Nebaoth, the son of Ishmael. Kidar, Adbel, wow, Adbel. Mimsam, Adbel, Mibsam, Mishma. Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tema, Jutur, Jetur, Hadad, Tema, Jetur, Navish, and Kedima. These were the sons of Ishmael, and these are the names of the 12 tribal rulers according to their according to their settlements and camps. Ishmael lived 137 years. He breathed his last and died. He was gathered to his people. His descendants settled in the area near Havila to Shoal, near the eastern border of Egypt. As you go towards Ashual, and they lived in hostility toward all the tribes related to them. Verse 19, and that is where we are going now. This is the account of the family line of Abraham's son, Isaac. Abraham became the father of Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean from Padan Aram, and sister to Laban, the Aramean. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was childless. The Lord answered his prayer. And his wife, Rebecca, became pregnant. The babies jostled each other within her. And she said, why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord. The Lord said to her, two nations are in your womb. And two peoples from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other. And the older will serve the younger. When the time came for her to give birth, they were 
twin boys in her womb. The first to come out was red. And his whole body was like a hairy garment. So they named him Esau or Esau. Esau. You see, he came out red. 20, verse 26. After this, his brother came out with his heart grasping Esau's heel. So he was named Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when Rebekah gave birth to them. The boys grew up and Esau became the skillful hunter, a man of the open country, while Jacob was content to stay at home among the tents. Itak, who had a taste of wild game, loved Esau, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Once when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau came in from the open country, famished. He said to Jacob, quick, let me have some of that red stew. Wow, his hair is red and he, he loves red stew. I am famished. That is why he was also called Edom or Edom. Edom. In Hebrew, Edom or Adom, it means red. Jacob replied, first, sell me your birthright. Look, I'm about to die. Esau said, what good is a birthright to me? Jacob, but Jacob said, swear to me first. So he swore a oath to him selling his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau or Esau some bread and some lentil stew. He ate and drank and then got up and left. So Esau despised his birthright. Wow. We are here and uh... Since two o'clock we've been on our journey. Let's see what time it is now. It's 6 30. It's 6 30. <laughs> so guys, welcome to Red Canyon. We are going for hiking. <laughs> A lot of mountains, nature reserve. <laughs> now let's look at the descendants of Esau that is Genesis chapter 36 this is the account of the family line of Esau that is Edom or Edom Esau took his wives from the women of Canaan, of Canaan. Wow. You know the Canaanites were idol worshippers and God hated the Canaanites and that's why he destroyed them. Because one of the practices that they used to do was to sacrifice, a child sacrifice. So God hated, hated them. Look, Esau, he went and took his wives from Canaan, from the Canaanites. Adar, daughter of Elon, or Elon the Hittite, and Ahoribama, daughter of Anna, and granddaughter of Zibion the Hephite. 
also Besmath, daughter of Ishmael and sister of Naboth. Wow, they were marrying so many wives. <laughs> Verse 4. Ada bore Eliphaz to Esau. Besmath bore Ruel. And Ahoribama bore Jeush, Jaram, and Korah. They were the sons of Esau, who were born to him in Canaan or Canaan. Esau took his wives and sons and daughters and all the members of his household, as well as his livestock and all of his other animals and all the goods he had acquired in Canaan and moved to the lad some distance from his brother Jacob. Their possessions were so great for them to remain together. The lad where they were staying could not support them both because of their livestock. So Esau, that is Edom, settled in the hill country of Seir. This is the account of the family line of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's son. Ervas, the son of Esau's wife, Adar, and Luel, and Ruel, the son of Esau's wife, Besmath, the son of Erivaz, Teman, Omar, Zevo, Gatam, and Kenaz. Conclusion of the matter is verse 43b. <laughs> this is the family line of Esau or Esau, the father of the Edomites, or the Edomites, and when the lord of the Edomites. Welcome, guys, and let's hike. This is very scary. Now it's better down. Wow, natural beauty. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay
may maglaglag ay pio. Tingin si. Wow. Wow, look at this. Nalin. Wow. Wow, I want one here. Your first one here? Yes. I Wow, guys, how do you, what do you think about this God's natural beauty? Wow, the lord of the Edomites or Edomites, descendants of Esau. Hi, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. If only I can go there. Guys, hey, what do you think about this natural beauty? Wow, he's a god of all creations, you know. He know how to make everything so beautiful for our eyes. Wow.
one, I think. This one looks like <laughs> pillar of blood's one. Not. We are not near the Dead Sea. We are near. We are near Red Sea. Mountains of Elat. You know, Elat is also in the Bible. <laughs> in the Bible, it was called Elat. E L A T H. And it was one of the places that the Israelites camped during their journey. Uh, of Exodus. Exodus after closing crossing the Red Sea. Wow. Wow. Isaiah the prophet prophesied about Edomites in Isaiah 5, Isaiah 34, verses 4 to 8. It says, My sword has drunk its full in the heavens. See, it descends in judgment on Edom. The people have totally destroyed. <laughs> you see also Psalms 137 verse 7 says, Remember Lord what the Edomites did on the day Jerusalem fell. They said, tear it down. They cried, tear it down to its foundations that's why god destroyed the edomites so many phases we have also jeremiah 29 verses 7 to 22. you also have the book of second chronicles chapter 25. also prophet obadiah or obadiah in uh, chapter 1 spoke about Edomites second Kings chapter 8 Wow <laughs> wow, look at how red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wait. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Look at your blogger. No, I didn't know what happened. What's happening to her? So, you know, <laughs> this is the, how was her trekking, hiking here in Israel, Red Canyon. Yes. So, <laughs> you don't have to come. So, what? Me. How was your experience? How was your experience? Look at, look at my. Look at her feet. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah, no, for my Anyway, guys, I thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching my video from Red Canyon, the lad, Telitoli of Edomites or Edomites, the descendants of Esau, Genesis 25. That is where. It all started when Rebecca was pregnant with the twins. The Bible records that they started to fight even from the womb. <laughs> and it was known that the older shall serve the younger. And this is what happened. Jacob or Esau served, served Jacob. And you remember Esau... He sold his birthright to Jacob by a meal. And the meal was uh, red uh, lentils. And I think that is why the name. And Esau, by the way, the Bible records that Esau, when he was born, the baby was red. There is so much stories in the Bible about the Edomites and uh, the destruction. And I remember Psalms 137 verse 7 i think verse 7 to 11 it's talk about uh, the edomites anyway guys i love you so much and i thank you so much i appreciate your support and i appreciate the way you've been supporting my work and uh, we are going to tour the bible and we are we're gonna make our bible reading very easy not easy but enjoyable to read so guys I love you so much from the land of Edomites, the descendants of Esau. I thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Guys, you need to see us. You see my jacket? Wow. <laughs> you have wow. A yes, and uh, look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is, uh, this is so beautiful. Yes, it's. Yeah. <laughs> My friends from Philippines. Yes. <laughs> One more. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> With Bernadette. Yes, it's not a it's, it's not a photo, yeah. <laughs> it's a video. Yes. Yeah. But it's okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Hey, what's up? How are you? <laughs> this is a tour guide. <laughs> no, don't believe her. <laughs> so try to see. She have the background of the canyon, so that is steep canyon. And look at her. She's enjoying just like a kid. And look at.
<laughs> Can't believe that we started the journey at, at uh, 2 a.m. I want to see something. I want to see something. I want to see this red layers. <laughs> yes. See the green? Green sand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm pat panting for breath. <laughs> <laughs> So we are at the border of Egypt and Israel. <laughs> and yes, mountains of Elat. <laughs> <laughs> 